I think it's one thing that I find immensely personally satisfying and still rather, um, frankly, kind of shocking or very surprising, a happy surprise, is that uh, many of us can work, many, many thousands, tens of thousands of us now, can work very, very hard and uh, learn things that we find satisfying uh, and that uh, for which we, we can develop, I think, good reasons to believe that we've learned something about how this world, the universe, seems to work. Not everything, and our answers won't be the last answers, sort of thank goodness, I don't think they should be. But um, in that sense, there's great personal satisfaction in realizing that we can say something definite and subject it all kinds of clever tests and, and close scrutiny of, of many other smart people. That already is a level of meaningfulness that um, needn't have been that way. That doesn't mean we've got the meaning, we've got an a meaning, and it's not uh, is neither all made up nor the final answer. Right? It's, it's constrained and tight but not unique, and it is certainly subject to lots and lots of edit uh, and, and change over time. But the fact that we can make um, pretty definite statements using a, a rather modest set of ingoing um, assumptions or, or, or notions about how the world should work, and then come up with a remarkable uh, elaborated uh, set of ideas that will run the gamut from at least our own observable universe, if, if there's only this one, down to the scales of the atoms uh, uh, so much greater than which is Tim, right? <laughs> we can go to that scale, orders and orders of magnitude, uh, not perfectly, and we're not done, but there's a remarkable um, constellation of ideas that, that, that fr to, from which we have made meaning. That's really cool. I don't know if we found the meaning, but that's a, a, a remarkable achievement that, frankly, I find um, exciting. Well, one of the things that we often hear is sort of this notion that isn't it amazing that we are here at all? You know, the laws of physics had to be just so for yeah. galaxies to form, for our solar system to form, for there even to be the possibility mm -hmm. of life on Earth. And here we are, you know, we, and here we are talking about all of this and just sort of, isn't that, it, it's, it, it would seem to be more than just a coincidence. Is that a, does that argument hold up? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Well, I mean, look, the, the, I, I, as some, I, I wrote at one point, if you think about just the odd, chancy things that had to happen for you personally to be mm -hmm. here, for you to exist. So let's just, you know, the, your parents had to meet and they had to fall in love and they had, there had to be all kinds of, one particular sperm had to meet at one particular time. Now, if you imagine, you know, the tiniest, difference physically almost anywhere in the universe. If you move a rock on Mars a hundred years ago, you wouldn't be here. Does that mean it was all here, that rock was there for you? No. no. <laughs> it, it, yeah, we're, we are all personally, individually, clearly accidental existence. Does that make my life less meaningful? I'm not quite sure why it should. I mean, I, could, I can sit around and say, boy, how lucky I am. I mean, it right. makes me lucky. But I don't see why one should think that um, the fact that there's this huge realm of possibilities and one is realized shows that there must have been some guiding force or some you know, organizing principle that was leading just to that one. Because so many things had to go just right to get it. Adam, a uh, meaningful universe? Well, I think there's, you know, there's two things. First of all, I, I really like that point, the idea that there's, you know, I, you know, this is perhaps getting poetic, but the fact that we have this capacity to, with just a few principles that we have, that have come to us through observation and this slow process in being human of, of learning to observe the world and, and, and become into concordance with its ways through thought, this means that we're at home. This is our home, right? That this is, you know, that there's meaning there, right? Um, so, you know, I think that's a very deep principle that we are of the universe and because of what has happened with us, no matter how you feel about consciousness, that we've woken up in it means that this is our place. We're not so, this is not an insignificant universe full of horrible forces that we're just hoping, you know, don't rain rocks down on our heads. There's <laughs> some very deep way in which we are part of this. But I think also there's a difference, we have to separate between uh, uh, significance and meaning, right? Because there's a question of meaning like, well, well you know, is it meaningful me to, for me to, you know, to binge watch, you know, um, Mad Men, you know? Well, that depends. You know, I'm not sure physics has anything to say about. But significance is a different question. And the big shift that happened in the Copernican Revolution was that, as you say, this myth that, oh, you know, the deep creator of the universe created the universe for us. That myth we had to sort of let go of. But I think the question of 
where do we fit, especially because of consciousness and the observer? You know, is there some way, you look at, you know, um, Wheeler's ideas about it and bit, you know, is there some way that somehow just the act of observation is sort of plays some role, at least in our, you know, interaction with the world? I mean, that's, I think, a question that's still open because we don't really understand quantum experience. So that is a place where maybe you could get a deeper level of significance in some sense in there. Yeah, I guess the um, only thing I want to add is that, you know, meaning is something we have attributed. So we have attributed to the activity of being able to calculate and do physics, for example. We've defined that to be a meaningful, uh, a meaningful thing because it is rewarding to individuals. It's rewarding to a community um, as a whole. Right. Um, as for whether the fact, I agree with Tim that it's a statistical fluke that we are here. It's a lucky accident. It's a lucky accident, but I think oh, that's a better way. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a slightly more emotionally charged way of putting it. Um, <laughs> but I think that in itself is not significant. We are attributing meaning and significance to that. So, um, or, uh, or even that it was lucky. Right, lucky for us, maybe. Us, maybe lucky not for lucky us, for. Exactly. for not lucky for the arachnids, you know, who <laughs> right. <or the> <laughs> yeah. are no longer here. Right. right.